So a quick overview of the map. You can see all the encampments. This is just a brutal map with massive height advantage. Let's get into it. So we got a little victory hurrah. Well, not victory, but a little pre-game hurrah coming from uh, ASL's team. No, that is actually Jungle Cats doing some uh, jungle calisthenics. These guys are excited. Look at these guys. This is, an ex this is what an excited team looks like, guys. Let's get at it. Right off the bat, we've got... Botangi! This is a fan favorite player who's getting some notoriety here on the internet with his antics. And uh, he's quick popping his personal shield and uh, first one there to get the pod. And they have it under the belt and they need to defend it. Uh, but it looks like it's switching already. So let's pull out of that canyon and see what uh, our boy ASL has up his sleeve. So he's got the height advantage again that I was talking about, but uh, didn't didn't do him any good this time. Let's see. Shanks is coming back into the fight. The trick with this map is that there is a lot of distance between pod drop. So, you know, in some cases you are trekking a while. So it's okay to slow your pace down a bit. Uh, be a little bit more tactical with your approach. Uh, keep an eye on the terrain. You know, there's lots of vantage points in this map where people could be sniping, hitting from a distance. <clears throat> and one of the things about Star Wars Battlefront is a lot of these guns can go quite far, unlike other first-person shooters. So even pistols in this game can be used to snipe at. So we'll go back over to uh, <coughs> Gazelle and see uh, what he's up to here. Currently it looks like they're leading it one nothing, and he's popped the personal shield. And that personal shield doesn't get used as much as I thought it would. Um, you know, typically that's a, a common tactic when taking pods. Let's have a look at uh, Darth Exile, sort of an MVP from last game. That guy single-handedly locked down uh, his team's uh, cargo carts for the better part of the entire game. Uh, so let's see how he's doing if he's applying that here. It looks like he is the guy for defending pods. So they're off to a quick win here. 13 minutes left on the clock, and it looks like Jungle Cats is ahead by one. And knowing what I know of Untitled, they do not lose easy. So if they lose this match, they are coming back in full force. And uh, let's just be thankful that they're not in the ring together, because it could get bloody. So back over to Untitled. Shanks is moving through this terrain. Now it could be this, this map might not be everybody's favorite map. You know, having a large amount of open terrain, not a lot of cover, and a lot of verticality. <clears throat> it can really throw you off. So uh, unless you're used to playing on it, uh, some of the tactics you've used in other maps probably aren't going to work. I'm going to zip over to Precision here. See how he's handling things, looking through the eyes of a bubble shield. Again. It looks like Darth Exile is doing his darndest to keep them out of there. Good use of jetpack. And that's another thing to mention as well. Jetpacks on this map must. You need at least half your team with these jetpacks. It's the only way you're going to get into these drop zone areas quick enough. And uh, it's just a must have. You see how Darth Exile is handling some of these shanks. And he went down. Precision. Not used to seeing precision in a rebel skin, but uh, looks like they're taking this pod. And uh, they are going to defend this. They're almost at the halfway mark on defending, and I don't see any of Jungle Cat's people around. And it looks like we have a pod win here for uh, Untitled. I don't see anybody nearby that's going to uh, contest that with three of uh, Untitled's team sitting there. And it looks like we've got a lone player coming in. And he's quickly eliminated, and yes, they took it. And let's see them stick around long enough to get the goodies. And we they the are taking some of them, it looks like they've got. They're leaving one, maybe as a bait. He's popped up a uh, recon droid. Let's head back over to uh, Gazelle. See how he's doing over here with that loss. And it looks like he's already at the next pod, and he's already defending it. They've got that pod, and it uh, looks like it landed right in the right spot, because it's going to take Untitled a little while to get over there and take it back. And uh, judging by his vantage point, he's uh, he's pulling back to cover them. And we'll see this pod doesn't have a lot of activity around it. We have Shanks coming in. No, that's not Shanks. That pod. There we go. Little Jay is claiming. And it's switched around. No, it's back in uh, Jungle Cat's favor now. So they managed to hold it. We've got a better vantage point up here. 
be a bit, a little bit eyes down the action here to see where these bodies are. So that paws up on a cliff, and uh, looks like the uh, Untitled team is going to have to make their way up from below, uh, while uh, Jungle Cats is holding the high ground on that pod, and it is going to the Jungle Cats. Unless they can make a quick jump here with that jump pack, and it doesn't look like they did, and they have taken it. Jungle Cats is now leading this match 2-1. to one. And uh, you can sure as heck bet that uh, ASL Shanks is not happy about that. They've got 9 minutes left, so there's still uh, quite a lot of time. 5 pods to go, four pods, 3 pods to go. And it looks like this pod landed in, uh, in favor of Jungle Cats again. Precision's doing his best down there by himself. And to no avail, the Jungle Cats are hitting it fast. In fact, you know, looking at this match, it kind of makes me... I, I keep getting turned around on here on who's who because Jungle Cats are playing very similar to how Shanks and his team typically play. They're fast, fierce, they're aggressive. Um, not not something I'm uh, used to seeing in another team, a play style that I'm used to seeing in another team. So I'll zip over to uh, ASL and see what he's up to. Going in third person. Now that jump pack coming in again. And out of the sky by Tricky Silent. That was an across the map sniper shot. Tricky Silent took him right out mid air. That is definitely going to bruise ASL's ego a little bit. Let's see how they recover from that. And here we go. The Rebels taking the high ground. They're kind of rallying. We now have three po uh, pods under the belt of Jungle Cats. Only two more left to go. Lots of time left in the match, so you know it's definitely not a write-off at this point. And it looks like ASL is coming in for this pod with an orbital strike incoming, and he is getting hammered. And he that was just not good. Little hitch just took that. And that's where those orbital strikes come in. Let's see what precision is up to on uh, Untitled's team. And Gazelle took him down. Now he's moving. See how ASL team captain of Untitled is doing, and he just took it as we zoomed in on him. Darth Exile, an across the map snipe. That guy is just vicious with his uh, defense. Now, different here in this game versus Cargo is defense is kind of an offensive defensive role. You can't just camp at the other side of the map, you actually have to move. So, Darth Exile showing that he's more to him than just a pretty face and a sniper rifle. Okay, Gazelle is taken down. These guys are fighting it out. We're going to zip over to the Imperial side here with Jungle Cats. And we'll see how they're handling things. Kalos is a top scorer for their team. Let's see how he's doing. He's quite a ways away from the action. That pod is nowhere near him at this point. We'll whip over to Botangi. Zoom up here and see. Now, every once in a while, you get a drop pod that hits some pretty elevated terrain and uh, makes your strategy a little bit different. I'm going to zoom up for a bird's eye view of this one here. Get a nice view of the uh, Judlin Wastes, the Raider Camp. You got a nice Shuttle Tidarian over there, Imperial Shuttle. Get a good eye on. Uh, oh, and there we go. Didn't have my names on for you guys. Sorry about that. But here we go. You can see a bird's eye view of where these teams are coming and going. And it really sucks to be on those lower levels of those cliffs. I'll tell you right now, having been there many times. And it looks like Untitled has got their third pod. We are now tied at 3-3 with six minutes left. And that's Shank saying that him and his team are not going down. So we'll zoom over to the other pod now. Get a little MOBA-esque view of the battlefield here. And this one here is right in the middle of a canyon. And fortunately, looks like Shanks. Uh, fortunately, it looks like Shanks has got control of the area pretty quick. But there's rebels descending in. Let's see here, Kalos. Kalos is doing his best by himself. He's got the height. Does he want to go into that little area there? And it looks like they're taking this pod. And he still got his personal shield pop, which is great for taking those pods. Looks like Jungle Cats are going to take this one now. It's only a quarter of the way through its uh, claiming cycle here, so 
Let's see what Shanks has got up his sleeve. And they're a little bit away from it at the moment. They're making a big push to get to it. I don't think they got a lot of bodies there just yet. It looks like this pod's quickly going to fall into uh, Jungle Cat's favor. They've got it locked down. Oh, Shanks is coming in for the steal, and he takes it. He's now moving away. An orbital strike hits near him. He gets out of there safely. But they have that pod. He snuck in there by himself and took that pod. And we're starting a cycle with the Rebels now with Untitled. And we have Gazelle King coming in to steal it back. And it looks like it's reverting. So they've now taken that back. And again, there's that tug-of-war mechanic that you're seeing in a lot of these matches. And that's kind of frustrating. After a good steal like that from Shanks, now they've got to go back and do it again. So we're hitting the halfway mark on that steal. And uh, not a lot of, uh, of Untitled's team in the uh, Valley. So it looks like this could go untest uncontested. Yeah, and here we go. Okay, we have another pod even coming. This is tricky silent now on Jungle Cat. Let's see, Bam OG. Let's see what he's up to here. They've, they've reclaimed this pod. They're determined to keep Jungle Cats out of this because essentially if Jungle Cats gets this pod, this, this match is over. Currently, that pod is in their favor. Um, cool thing about these Tuscan huts is actually they can be destroyed. Basically, a little bit of the, there you go. There's an example of that right then and there. So Shanks handling that. He's making his way up there, bringing up the rear. And it looks like they're going to have to claim this back. And he's going to do that now, and he's flipped it. And he's also got a couple droids. He's got an infantry turret and a recon droid there. And that droid's going to give him a heads up periodically. But that uh, infantry turret's really going to keep Jungle Cats out of the area. As they start coming up. Probably the best place he could have put it was right at that pod there. Um, it's a little bit of annoyance for them. Gives them just the edge they needed. Oh, and Tricky Silent took him down. Jungle Cat has flipped the pod, and they're now in defense mode. And unfortunately, we've got four members of Untitled down in the valley. It's going to take them a bit to get here. They're pushing it. we got the jump pack coming in to get in there quickly. Shanks is taken down. We've got a personal shield that's going to help him claim that pod, and they claim it. Little Hitch took the pod thanks to his personal shield, and uh, now it's up to Jungle Cats to get that pod back. And it looks like with the amount of people they've got here in the vicinity, they're doing okay holding it. No, meanwhile, we've got a scout trooper from Jungle Cats who just flipped it again. Back and forth, back and forth. These guys are just give and take. So we'll see. We've got... Boten Botengi is holding this pod by himself. Our, our, oh, there we go. Little Jay took it right back. Not having any of that. We've got a bubble shield up to give it some protection. And we got another scout trooper coming in. And they just... Wow, they just pistol whipped that guy to the ground. They are just brawling at this point over this pod. There's no shooting, guys. If you get too close, you're getting a smackdown from ASL's team. Great job on their part. They've got the height advantage, and they're keeping up at bay. We do have a small push from the Rebels coming up, but I don't know if they're going to be able to get to it in time. They... They... Did. They just flipped the pod at the last second. That's got to suck for ASL and his team of Untitled. They basically lost that pot at the last second. And now Jungle Cats is in there. Let's see how Team Captain Gazelle. Actually, we'll follow Tricky Silent here. He's more close to the action. He is up top with uh, two of his teammates. And we're going to need some jump pack action from Untitled. But they they took it. They took it in five, five to three. And uh, they're going to stay in this match because the next match is going to be a random map. So that uh, victory went to Jungle Cats.